back. Woo! Good God Almighty! What is going on guys? Welcome to another episode of Bubbleville Bassin. We are on the Pianca tank, about to head up to the Dragon Run, as we call the old the old donkey swamp. Uh, but started off the day as y'all just saw. Nice little two pounder on the old chatterbait by a little dude. So it's a good sign of the day. We'll catch y'all later and uh, we're gonna see if we can get some more toads. All right guys, so basically what we figured out so far since we've been here for about 10, 15 minutes, uh, all the bass relating to one feet of water with some type of wood or a structure or a dock or a pylon, you know, or like a little creek channel or something like that, like Shinbone's catching one right now off the dock. What is so it? we're gonna see if we can repeat the net. process. Oh, we ain't got the net anyways. Underneath the pier. He won't come off Jack. He kind of looks like he's mixed with a striper, doesn't he? Oh, he's just got that all colored green, like no stripe type of thing, you know? Look at his tail. Yeah, he got a scar on him. Thank you, buddy. You need some help. Keep him down. He's gonna try to walk this is a toad, dude. He's going to try to walk on you. He's going to keep him down. He's a river fish. River fish. That was a good fish. Yeah, I know. He's about four pounds, five pounds. I wasn't recording and I had to click it on. Yeah, man. It's exactly what I just did right there, but I got like next to the outboard, like an inch. Yeah. Are you doing any kind of cadence? Nope. Just real? Just like your pure fish. Oh, God, dude, that was a monster. Now I'm getting hyped. Stacked up off the outside of these piers, man. That was about a four pound fish, wasn't it? Yeah, it's deep, deep. Your fat belly. I'm talking about a round belly, dude. That's some a belly like this. that with an outboard and see what happens to you. Hey, you see how shallow Be 
nothing but harder to try to catch them in deep water. You know what I mean? Yeah, but I know exactly where they're going to be over here. Hell yeah, nice little chatterbait bass. All the way up on here on the shallow flat, just on the skinny board. Yep. Is it nice? He just got off. What the f going on with these chatterbaits, man? It's because we have to keep trying to reel and fish. He was nice. If we didn't have all that motor pressure, we would have caught him. That's what happened to me when I was flying forward with that big one. I'm gonna start double pumping the bitches when I get start getting them going. I'm hung up. You want me to power over there? You got it. Right. Hey, take my rod once you get yours reeled up. All right. I think these, um, you got to think, when we're, uh, when we're fishing here, we had all that weight of the motor pulling this way, and you're pulling, it's like trolling. You know what I mean? Yeah. It made him come right off. Watch the front, make sure we're not going to hit the stumps or nothing. Obviously there's trees in this mud. Alright, slow down. <sighs> Gotta let me know when you're off. You can come up and pull the motor up when you run on the top stuff like that. I couldn't, it was wedged. Thank you. Put it in, rip the transducer off. No, it ain't off. We should swing. Line just broke. Where were you at? Where were you at? Over there. Might be able to find your line. Broke off into the reel. How about the damn rod snap? You got hit though, right? Yeah. I can catch your line somewhere. It's about time that broke, there's a kink saw in it. Yeah. It just sucks that you lost, you got it. And everything. Where'd the line go though? I, don't know. It, I mean, and I know it sinks. I cast it over here. I got hammered, dude. That was a big fish. No, dude, I ain't getting it. <laughs>
Watch this town. Well, I said there's a bunch of them up there. They were knocking the dust shit out of me, man. Well, the last time we came down here and grabbed, there was a bunch of fish marking right off the top up in the gut. Toad? I can't really tell, but it's a fish. Double hook him. That was good. Right you, there in the gut. you controlled that jumper. You see that? Nice, dude. Yeah. He hit as soon as he hit the water. Hold on. Wee. <laughs> Then you buried it on him, and it changed his jump instead of a up to a towards you. Open up the shark here, taking out the bite. What was that? It just broke me off. That's what just hit me. What was that? I uh, look like a bass. Like a monster. Bass. Like this. Either that or a giant pickerel. It just. Sure can't go. Like, like samurai. Just gone. That's or, crazy. Or it might have been a big ass snake head. Earlier was that one that passed us on the turn, but it wasn't. Three people in that boat. This boat is the one that got three people in it. There's two people in that other boat. That passed Nice bass. Oh, damn it. That's what bit you over there. Look, see how it was chartreuse looking?